Hi, this is Adam with PhotoEnergyNight.com and today I want to show you how to clean up unwanted spots using frequency separation. In a previous Lightroom tutorial, we talked about using the clone stamp or healing brush to remove spots from an image, whether it was removing unwanted spots in the photograph or removing unwanted sensor spots caused by your camera in your skies. The clone and healing brush inside of Lightroom is a good alternative, but it doesn't work perfectly for everything, especially when we're dealing with sky elements that have a large gradient in them, like the image I have pictured here. And this problem is only intensified as you continue making adjustments to your pictures like I've done here. If you take a look and I turn on some of these base adjustments that I've applied before and after the base adjustments, you can see in the sky area that there is a significant amount of sensor spots that is showing up in my picture. Again, a before and after. I think by now you get the point. One, Adam, you need to get your sensor cleaned. Yes, I do. And two is, man, that's a big problem to go ahead and have to clean. And how do you do it when you have a sky that has such varying color tones and exposure value? So today I have a really awesome tip for you guys, and it's using what's called the frequency separation in order to clean up your skies or any other parts of the photograph for that matter. Now the frequency separation tool is something that's typically talked about more in portrait photography when using uh, these features to clean up elements in the skin, such as acne, scars or blemishes, things of that sort. But you can actually use the frequency separation tools to clean up your sky when you have a large varying degree of gradient in your sky like I have here. And if I take a second to just zoom out just a little bit and show you the adjustments that I've made, I was able to add some color and some contrast and do a really nice job of cleaning up that sky and giving it a much more natural looking, cleaner feel. I wanna show you how I've gone ahead and done that. And if you wait till the end of the video, I've got something special for you. So watch all the way through. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is start by making a visible stamp layer, and you can do this by hitting Shift, Option, Command, E, and then I'm gonna duplicate this layer by holding Command, J. So I've got two layers here. I'm gonna name this layer Global, and I'm gonna name the top layer Local. And for now, I'm just gonna turn the local layer off so it's not visible, and I'm gonna go back to the global layer. Now from here, I'm gonna go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and what I wanna do is add a radius amount until I see all of the sensor spots or whatever it is that I'm trying to clean up. Once these disappear due to the blur, that's enough blur, that's all you need. So you're just gonna go ahead and hit OK. And once you have that, you're gonna go back to the local layer and turn that layer on. Now from here, we're gonna go to Image, Apply Image, and we're gonna make some changes. We want the layer to be selected is global. We wanna make sure that the blending mode is subtract, and we wanna make sure that the scale is set to two, and the offset is set to 128. I'm not sure why the math for the scale and the offset is set to this. If I knew that, I'd be on some secluded beach drinking Mai Tais somewhere rich and famous, but I don't know, so just trust me that this works. Once you're done, go ahead and hit OK. And the last and final thing that I wanna do is select both the local layer and the global layer and group them together by hitting Command G. Once these are grouped together, I'm gonna to open the group, go back to the local layer, and change the blending mode to linear light. And now if I were to turn the group on and off as a whole, you can see that nothing happens here. The picture looks exactly the way it was before. There is no different. But what has happened here is the global layer contains all of the light values and the color, and the local layer controls all of the detail and texture. So what this means is I can select the local layer since that has all the details and textures. I can head on over and grab a clone stamp brush. I can zoom into the area that I wanna fix. And with a large clone stamp tool, I'll make sure that the layer here for my clone stamp tool is set to current layer. And I'm gonna sample this by Alt 
clicking on the picture. And so now I have a large sample here and I can just brush on any of the sensor spots, no matter whether it's in the gradient section or not. This will do a fabulous job of cleaning up all of those areas really, really nicely. I'm gonna zoom all the way out, and that's exactly what I did in this cleanup layer. Here you can see what a wonderful job that had done. Now, if that sounds like too many steps for you, I have an awesome thing for you. I've created a Photoshop action that does all of this for you. Let me just show you how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this group. I'm gonna create a visible stamp layer. And so from here, from this point here, if I were to go to my Photoshop actions and click on the frequency separation and play it, you'll see that this dialog box will open up just like before. You can set your radius to whatever radius it needs to be set to. Like I said, blurry enough for the spots to disappear. And then you'll hit okay. And now when you go into the group and go to the local layer, you can grab your clone stamp tool, select an area and start brushing to get rid of any of these spots. All you have to do is head on over to the Photo Nerd Unite website and there you'll find the frequency separation link where you can download this action for free so that you don't have to go through and add all of those steps. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for your support. If you're not already a subscriber to this channel, please go ahead and do that. We'll have a lot more videos coming to you soon. And until next time, we'll catch you in the next episode.